hi once again. Welcome uh, to uh, In the Apiary. And uh, today's topic is uh, all about the treatment for Varroa. Uh, there are numerous methods to treat Varroa, um, both biotechnical and uh, bio uh, recidical. And uh, I'm just going to explain a method uh, here today which is based on a chemical method, not that one that uh, I'm not going to say I recommend it, but it's, it is one that I do use, and uh, it's not, dare I say, it, very intrusive to the bees. It does work. I wouldn't want to use anything stronger in my uh, acres. But anyway, let's get in there and show you the method. Well, what is Varroa? Or um, what is uh, its uh, more collective name is a Varroa Destructor. It's basically a, an external parasite of the honeybee. And uh, it was uh, confined to Asia many years ago and the Asian honeybee, which is known as uh, Apis serrana, but then it moved uh, into western climes uh, and started to attack uh, the uh, the western bee, the Apis mellifera. It was uh, first observed in the UK in about 1992, and uh, unfortunately, it has been uh, removed from the list of uh, notifiable diseases. And it's the uh, the honeybees number one killer. Now what I've got here is the uh, the treatment is actually on, in all honesty, um, a moderate hive in quantity. I don't think I'd want to do it in um, anything less by volume, but um, I've had reason this year to use a couple of the uh, frames out of this hive uh, and put them into another hive to bulk it up. So it's just a little bit light. We are in autumn, or just moved into autumn, and uh, this is the time that you put the treatment on. Um, I'm not going to go into the background of the, um, the method uh, in depth, but uh, I've just mentioned previously that there are two methods of control. Uh, or two groups of methods of control. One is a, a management method, which is a, a biotechnical, and the other one is a chemical, which is uh, a varroa side. Um, in practice, you would use them both in conjunction with one another, and uh, that process is known as uh, IPM, or Integrated Pest Management Control. So what we're using today is um, a produce called Apilife Var. It's a proprietary item. This particular bag, as we speak, or sachet, costs about three pounds sterling, and it has two um, chunks like this that you subsequently um, cut up and put in at various stages uh, in the process. The active substance in there is uh, thymol, eucalyptus, camphor, uh, and uh, levomenthol. I'm reading that off of the, uh, the instruction manual. Now, as I say, each pack contains two strips, and the dosage is one strip every seven days. This hive, as you can see, um, I did a first process about a week ago. And that's the uh, the residual of one that's left there. We'll leave that on there. It'll have its use. Um, and the complete treatment treatment for any one hive is um, four strips or two packs. So money-wise, it's about six pounds sterling uh, a treatment. And as I say, I've used it in the past, and it seems to be very effective. Um, it's not to be used in the honey flow. Uh, we've actually here 
just removed the supers only a few weeks ago, uh, spun them off and um, put them back in for cleaning. Uh, you'll see me put the super back on in a second, but then I'm going to go into a process of adding uh, uh, syrup for the winter period. Uh, they don't advise you that you use it above a, uh, the, the treatment above 30 degrees, and uh, as I say, I have found it pretty effective. Anyway, let's put the uh, the four. chunks on there and there is five as you can see you've counted five but you put them on the extremities of the brood area so I'll put that down there the um, the process is that they will actually those strips will actually wear down over the next few days be um, uh, taken down into the hive and then we'll find a varroa drop on a tray underneath. I've not got a um, queen excluder on here now because I want the queen to move up and down through the hive uh, towards the, um, the end of the autumn period and I'll under super that but that's another process. Anyway, I was going to talk about the um, varroa floor. This is the catchment area. Basically the uh, then the dead varroa will drop through the hive and into this bottom clearing uh, area. And what I've done in this instance is to mark out the board in um, one inch squares, and there is actually a process of counting the number of dead varroa to understand um, how significant uh, varroa is in your hive. And it's the number count within a square inch of the, um, the pattern. And at the moment, I can see uh, in the last week there's a, there's a couple here, Varroa, the darker areas there. Uh, it looks as though there's about two or three in certain areas. Uh, and quite honestly, at this stage in the game, I'm not too concerned about this hive. It looks pretty good. But anyway, what I've done over that is put a, um, a, a thin film of grease so that when things drop through, they don't get blown around in the wind. They actually stay in place for the count. So a bit of advice there. Um, in all honesty, I think that's about it for today. Uh, let's get these girls closed up for now. And uh, I'll be coming up here to do yet another treatment in a few days' time. So um, give it a try. I'm, uh, as I say, I, I will be talking about other methods of Varroa treatment over the, uh, the next uh, few seasons. So. Enjoy your beekeeping, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.